up YouTube, this is Reptile Insanity, and um, no, this is how we prepare our skink food. Um, first, I'll start up by cutting up these. These are blueberries, and they're very nutritious for your blue tongue skink. As you can see, this guy's kind of uh, hungry, so I'll feed him later on in this video. Per skink, we only give him two, two blueberries, kind of ration it out. So there he goes, there she goes. And then we tear up uh, some kale, put it in there. Um, they are omnivores, they need a variety of different foods, fruits, and um, sometimes dog food. And today we're gonna be par preparing it with, um, I think it's, yeah, it's dog food. So get a little bit of greens in there. You guys can see that. Tearing at this with my hands. This guy's all hungry over here. Um, let's see. Well, let's just get these guys fed, and then I'll go on to what I'm actually selling. So, right here, we just scoop some dog food. Careful not to get it on my nice desk over here. Ooh, this just smells delicious. I'm actually kidding, by the way. Wow, usually this dog food is not um, this hard to get to. All right, so I'll, this is kind of boring, so I'll just uh, talk about um, just reptile news for you guys. Um... First off, make sure you guys support the USR because they're trying to get a get rid of our big snakes for you reptile hobbyists. Um, first, they're going to start with the big snakes, then they're going to go down to the mediocre snakes, which is going to be our famous ball pythons or royal pop, royal ah, royal pythons as you guys call them in Britain. So um, make sure you guys to go support that, and then um, local news and my news. Um, I actually won a contest um, about a month and a half ago, and I received, or the winner gets um, a free gecko and, um, what is it, a free hide, so she just got the gecko in, um, her name, or her YouTube uh, channel is Nicole Baby, and I don't know the number, but I just remember that, so she has my leopard gecko, uh, she it's a snow thump something. Um, she doesn't know what it is yet, but I'll show you guys these guys eating. And I'll take a video of that when I actually um, acquire the gecko. I'm going to probably meet up with her Friday. She's um, a local like me down um, in the Riverside area in California. So this girl's going to start eating. This is Skyra. She's our northern blue tongue skink. I'm going to go get our big boy over here. This is uh, Mordecai, our Indonesian skink. He's a lovely boy. He's like triple the size of her. She's still a baby. But surprisingly, she eats uh, faster and uh, more ravenously. Ah, ravenously. That's not a word, but whatever. So he's going to town, she's going to town, um, let's just uh, make it more interesting for you guys. So this is Orion here, he's a turquoise red veiled chameleon, he's an adult, he's about a year and two months, uh, nice setup, probably worth, including him, probably worth a value of total of 500 bucks around. I know because the turquoise reds, when um, they're full adults, they go for around 300 bucks, and um, I'm actually selling this guy. His colors aren't that good right now. I'll take a picture and I'll put it in the end of this video of him when he's uh, not trying to blend in. But yeah, I'm selling this guy, the ads on Craigslist, or 
through YouTube as I'm putting it up here now. Um, he alone is 175 and I could probably ship him. Um, kind of leaning on uh, local pickup only. But if you want him and the cage, it'll be a total of 200 bucks. You get everything, or 210 bucks, sorry. You get everything in the cage, um, excluding the lights. So not the lights, just everything in the cage, everything around the cage, all these vines, all these plants, everything, and him. So that's a great deal. And um, I'm going to be selling that cage too. It's... Um, it has a light in it, I'll show you guys. It has a light and a dual vent inside. So you got that light up there. You got those two vents. Dual sliding glass doors. Oak wood. Uh, it's really nice. It's in perfect condition. Nothing's wrong with it. Um, I just like the glass cages better. They suit me better. Um, keeps humidity really well. Um, it keeps any of your animals from escaping even snakes without the lock I had a snake in there um, perfect condition uh, I paid 120 let's go for alright it's 50 bucks it's a great deal that's 70 bucks off it's in, still in perfect condition and you're buying from one of your favorite youtubers moi so yeah that's cool alright little update on these guys um, this is uh, mallet right here this is the custom hide I built um, Let's go ahead and take this off so I can show you guys. That's uh, my adult male red stripe bell, and um, yeah, he's gonna be breeding with uh, this snow that I get if she's a female. Oh, somebody's shedding. All right, so shedding right here. Woo. All right, I'm gonna have to take her out. Let's see if I can scare her out. Come on, baby. There you guys go. So that is uh, my Tremper Albino. Let's see if I can put her under some light. She's a real beaut. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing off her head so I can show you guys in this video. Um, let me set you guys down real fast. Sorry. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, taking, helping her with the shed on her fingers because she usually has problems with this. One moment. So she's perfectly, um, yeah, she's shed perfectly. Except for her little toesies. So, she has, um, alright, that's not helping. The light kind of sucks. Oh yeah, you can see the pattern, how it's coming in. Looks pretty badass. And she's growing like super fast. It's pretty cool. I just have them separated with a piece of glass and then I attached a cardboard piece so it wouldn't fall down. Stupid little crickets climbing, climbing up it though. Alright, and over here we got my... Uh, this is a mouthful. Albino... Tangerine jungle carrot tail. Still baby. His tail's kind of skinny from when I got him. Um, trying to fatten him up a little bit. And I just fed this guy. Humidity is awesome in this cage. Alright, so the mouse was about that big. Sorry guys, uh, my memory ran low, so I had to stop it and make this one. So the mouse was about this big, and my snake's belly is only about this big. He went ballistic, ate that dude. So, it's doing good. Back up on these guys. Pretty much done with their food. Good boy, buddy. And then we got Nick right there. He's male. And uh, Bertha's in there. She had a, um, while she was trying to get her shed off, I think she bit her back. And uh, it's a little scab, but she's going to heal from that. It's already healing super fast. And um, that's pretty much it. And then we got my 
San Bernardino Mountain King right here. Love his pattern. He's such a beast. Um, Alright guys, I'll keep you posted. And if you guys want to see my new edition, why don't you guys comment yes or no. It is not a reptile. It is a furry animal. And it kind of looks like that. So if you saw what that was and you know what it is, why don't you comment yes and I'll show you a video of me playing with them, like just interacting with them, showing you guys how he is and why you guys should get one. All right. So this is Repton Sanity. We love you guys' feedback. Why don't you just comment um, any questions, any requests. We'll do everything for you guys. And um, we're at 90 subscribers right now. My last video that I made three days ago rocketed up to around 500 views right now. And super happy with that. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Have a little stare down right there. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. 100 subscriber, I might throw a gecko out there. Remember that. Alright, later, guys. Peace. Boost.